What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Sinno Alice video here on the channel. Uh, I know we're just days away from the near collab. We're all hyped for that, but I do want to put out some other content video for you guys today uh, to possibly help you guys progress in PVE so you guys can try to get the most gems you guys can for either this upcoming banner or the replicant banner that will be coming out probably about three to four weeks after. So how to do that, basically. So you're saying, oh, I got to be 60,000, 80,000, 100,000. I got a whale. No, no, no. You don't have to do that. So what we're going to show you is a way to get OP friends so that you can basically beat this content super easy. So this is going to be a two-step process of what you guys are have to do. The second step is really, really fast. But to do that, basically, guys, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go into your menu. Um... And then you can go into friends. And obviously, if you know their uh, their uh, IDs and stuff like that. So, like, one way is you guys could go to Reddit, Discord, things like that. Uh, people that are in, like, the 80K to 120K, something like that. Then you guys could just search their ID right here, enter the ID, and then you can find them that way. Um, you also can do recommended here. Um, and then you can just sort by, uh, by points. And then you guys can just sort here for points to follow these people. And you guys can see there's quite a bit of, you know, 80,000 plus people. So that's another way you guys can do it. But the best way, if you really want to get OP people, is what you're going to have. All right. So after you guys have searched the friend part there of your friend tab, and if there's still not enough people that you guys have access to, what you guys can do is go into rankings here. So you guys go into rankings. And then after that, you are going to have the top guilds. So you then are going to want to go to top guild rank. So let's try B. So there we go. There are still a lot of guilds in B. So then let's say, let's take Aramoth, for instance. So let's go into details. And then we go into their list. And then you're going to see all these strong players here. 90,000s, 82,000s. And all you do from there, you just click on their icon. You attempt to follow them. See if you can follow them. And it reached the maximum followers. So you are going to get this message a lot. So you just it's just going to be a process for you guys. Um, you're just going to have to go into all these different people and try to follow them. And hopefully they're not maxed out. That's all you can do. Um, there's no like way to like hide the people that are that are uh, that aren't maxed out. So you just have to kind of go through and through like this. So that's pretty much all you can do there isn't really another shortcut for that but like i said you guys first could go to the search mode for the recommended friends sort by points uh, i think if they're on points if you're searching for them that means they are active i'm going to go back there real fast just to test that real fast so let's go back to follow and let's go to recommended and then let's go to sort by total points So let's go back down that way. We should see the 87. Let's see if that'll just add him. So there you guys go. So if you want to do it fast and just get a couple like 80,000s, maybe 90,000s if they pop up, you could just do it that way. That way you guys can just get these guys in fast and then you guys could start using your stamina. So what I recommend maybe going through the guild system, trying to find stronger people is you guys could possibly do that when you're on like stamina cooldown, when you're waiting for your stamina recharge, you're at work, stuff like that, like in between work breaks, stuff like that, you guys can do that. So that's what I recommend. So that's how you get the friends. So the next process, which we're gonna talk about is actually how do you use those friends to beat PVE content. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into story. So the two ways to do this about, about this. So first you can go to co-op, and if you wanna to go to your friends, hopefully you're adding a lot of people that are just super, super powerful. And if an event pops up that you want to do, let's say it's the raid, let's say it's like the last phase of the incarnation event, something like that that you guys are having issues clearing, or maybe even in story, if you guys are in Act 2, like Chapter 4, if you're in Act 1 on Hard Mode, Chapter 4, Chapter 3, wherever you guys may be in your accounts, uh, you guys could look through friends this way, see if you can do that, because that means guaranteed at least one other player is going to be manually or auto-controlling, it's not going to be botted. 
when you guys have non-bots, it's going to be a much better clear rate you guys will have for PvE content. When you guys go into your regular story outside of co-op, it is going to be botted, more than likely. So that is the advantage of trying to do co-op, of going into rooms and trying to find those rooms. Obviously, you can filter. Um, for events, it's a little bit easier. Like right now, intermediate weapons, I have that selected. But if you want to go to random, obviously, this will not have your friends, so it's it's just shot in the dark of where you're going to be. But if you do hit filter and say, I only want to see people from Nightmare, right? So there's no rooms there. And then if I update that, that room's gone because I filtered only Nightmare. So if you want to do that, that's a way you could filter and you could just keep hitting refresh. You could sit here for as long as you want and just keep hitting update until you find a room for that filter. So you guys can filter that way as well. If you guys are looking for Incarnation of Envy, you guys can do that. I can then hit friends and I have no friends doing that. So there you guys go. That's how you guys can find those rooms at co-op. But what we're going to talk about is how to actually set up your co-op settings so that you guys can actually even uh, just go into regular solo player mode with the bots of high ranked players so that you're only bringing that team. So you go into co-op settings, you're gonna select what I have here. So if normally you have anyone, it's gonna do that, but now I just go over and select only friends. Then I'm gonna go and select friend. And now it's gonna show all my friends I have up here. So look at that guy, Redbox, he's a beast, 133,000. Kazul, another 121,000 DPS, and it goes so on and so forth. Okay, I know why, because I had those friends selected. So if you're going through a new refresh to select four new companions to go with you, you actually have to, see I had my people selected that I was using for a content in the game, you just unselect them and then you refresh and then all these people will then show up after that. So what you do from here, is let's say I wanted four DPS, I'm gonna select four DPS, one, two, uh, we'll do Breezy, and then we'll do, sure, we'll do a, we'll do Spear Alice. So those four guys, right? So now, I'm gonna go into here, I'm gonna go into, I'm just gonna do main story, I'm just gonna pick a low level stage, I'm just gonna pick chapter one real fast, on hard mode. I'm we're just gonna go in here, and show you guys, that when we enter this room, it's only going to have the four people I selected. Redbox, Breezy, number two, and Kazul. And then they're going to go in, and they're going to just obliterate these stages for you guys. Even if they're botted, the, the obscene high power that these guys possess, and like, I mean, I'm not like a slouch or anything, I'm 83k, but I'm definitely not up to 130k, 120k, 110k, things like that uh, for you guys, and so it's just, even you guys that are like 40k, something like that, even if you guys, like I said, are not getting, um, you're not like at 60k or anything like that, use this friend system to try to get these friends as fast as you can. Um, I think you do have to get followed back by them or something. I'm not 100% sure on that. That's just what I've heard through Discord and Reddits and stuff. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to just do this follow process. Uh, see how it works. Like, test it after a couple of days. Um, I mean, test it, like after you add and follow these people, if you can select them as your friends in the co-op settings. Because if you can straight select them as your friends in co-op settings right away, then you guys are set, and then you guys can basically just go at it and just start clearing all this hard content by cheesing the system and using OP friends since we get to bring four friends with us. So anyway, guys, that's going to be today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was uh, helpful to you guys in some way. If it was helpful to you guys, uh, that you guys didn't know about this perhaps, Make sure you guys drop a like down below. Hit subscribe if you guys are new. If you guys are new to the channel and ring that bell so you guys have not missed the next Sinnoh Alice or other mobile game content video we have. If you already knew this, leave a comment section below. It's like, I knew this from day one. That's fine. Like, I just am trying to spread the wealth on this game when I can. So, uh, here's your boy at Fort. And if you guys uh, did like this once again, guys, please share the video to other new players so that it can help them as well progress in PvE content so we can help grow the game as a community. So thank you guys so much once again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, guys.